Marvel time, and we got some new Marvel news. I love finding these leaks. These, uh, man, uh, these leaks are better than a $3 stripper. I just got to tell you, I love these uh, Marvel leaks. And I got one for y'all. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Larry's channel. Check my man T-Streams out on Facebook. Today, Marvel is going to be introducing another god that's going to rival Thor. Take a look at this. Today we're going to be talking about the new god coming to the MCU and the interactions he could have with Thor. In an exclusive from the cinema spot, Vicky DePledge has stated that Hercules is coming to the MCU in the near future. It's unclear whether this would be in the form of a supporting role or a lead role in his own project, but there were once rumors that Hercules would appear in Marvel Studios' The Eternals. However, those rumors have since been put into doubt and it's more likely that the casting call in question was for Icarus, who's being played by Richard Madden. For those of you not familiar with the character, Hercules the Son of Zeus is a long-standing character in the Marvel comics, first appearing in Avengers No. 10 in 1964. Since then, he's regularly appeared in Thor and Avengers comics throughout the decades, and has had a few encounters with Hulk, even playing a role in the World War Hulk storyline. He also has a partnership with Amadeus Cho, who later becomes Hulk. Similarly to Thor, Hercules is a god, but unlike the Asgardian, he hails from Olympus, and his half-brother Ares is a recurring enemy and has a deep rivalry with him. And there's a couple places that would make sense for him to appear in, and possibly very soon. Hercules could appear in the Eternals, as he was rumored to be in the movie. Although, like I said before, that's been debunked. But they still have superficial ties to the gods of Olympus, so there's still a possibility. He could also appear in She-Hulk, as he has major connections to Hulk, and Amadeus Cho who's rumored to be coming. And lastly, he could appear in Loki. The Asgardians are gods, and Hercules has had many interactions with Thor in the comics, so him appearing in some way in the Loki show wouldn't be out of the question. But let's talk about something else that this seemingly confirms. In Avengers number 10, Hercules debuts alongside Immortus, which is an alternate version of Kang the Conqueror, who's been heavily rumored to appear in the Loki show and be not only the young Avengers villain, but also the villain for Phase 5. However, we do find out later through a retcon that this Hercules was an imposter, meaning that the real Hercules officially appeared the following year in 1965's oversized annual Journey into Mystery alongside Thor. And guess who they are saying? Is going to be playing Hercules. They, they, from what I'm hearing from my insider sources, the ink is already on the table. The Rock Dwayne Johnson is going to be Hercules in the MCU. Larry, really? I'm, going give, I'm going to give it to you first, Larry. Are you excited to see another man, another strong person come to the MCU? I'll tell you the thing that I like about the idea of, of the Rock playing Hercules. Mm -hmm. It's gonna piss white people the fuck off. Why is that? Oh, it's oh, it's gonna piss them off because you know all those, you know all those racist, all those racist dudes love to talk about Thor and Hercules as their as their Nordic white gods and stuff. So if they all of a sudden they have a black dude playing Hercules, woo, they're just but, they're gonna. Man, they like the Rock, man. The, they the, do the, like the Rock, but there's like gonna be a the lot rock. of them that are gonna still be upset. Personally, I would have liked to see that dude. Do you remember that dude from uh, – from, did you ever watch that show Banshee? I never watched it. it was on, there was a show called Banshee, and there, he's, there's a, he was also on another show called uh, called Perfect Harmony. But he's a big dude. I believe he's a Native American dude, but he's huge. He's like a – he's just a big dude, and he's got this big, bassy-ass voice. That, that dude would be – I think he'd be a great superhero. I'd yeah. like to see him. I'd like to see him in there and stuff like that, because I haven't really seen. I haven't seen many Native Americans in, in any of these superhero movies. Me neither. T streams. Are you going to bring out your cane and go see <laughs> Hercules yeah. in the MCU <laughs> in twenty twenty four? Unfortunately, I'm going to try to skedaddle on up in there to go check it out. <laughs> 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 at, the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, I'm still a diehard fan, man. So uh we'll make we'll make the best out of it. Yo, man, I'm I'm there for it, man. They, if I'm I'm wondering, will they sprinkle him into the Eternals? I doubt that they bring him full boy. It might be maybe on um, the post-credit scene, but in mm -hmm. terms of him having a major role, I doubt that he gets a major role in the Eternals. But I can definitely see them doing a Thor versus Hercules, the two mythologies going against each other, because that's just something that you've heard 
Th that's a story that's been told before there was even a Marvel. So right. um, I'm excited for it, and hey, I'm yeah. here for it too. Is he, yeah, is he already I'm, signed on for it? That all the all the rumors are speculating he's going to be the, he's going to be playing it. Yeah, I just hope I just hope they don't they don't water it down and stick. You know, if if they can stick close to the uh, to the comic to the comic book storyline, if if they're going to have the Rock, you know, uh, you know, roll that line, even though it's um, even though it's been many 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 years since uh, since he played the Scorpion King, you know you. I, I want to see if, if rock if the rock is going to get into one of those like hero type um uh, or a legendary hero type uh roles you know you want to see it you know you want to see it done right but I, I don't i don't think that uh they would just give them something uh give them something bogus but no i think that i don't think that they should they should make the introduction in the Loki series, especially for the uh, made for TV series. I don't, I don't think that would put the right light on the, uh, on that introductory, but if they're going to, uh, and, and I also think like you, man, I, I don't think he's going to have a big role in the, in the Eternals. That's, you know, if so, I think some of that probably would have been circ circulating around a long, you know, a little while mm -hmm. ago. So, uh, but but I, I'm I'm eager to see it. I want to, you know, I, I like to see The Rock and you know, and Chris sort of bang it out or however they're going to do it. Okay. I'm curious. I'm curious, T Strings. What do you think The Rock will want to do another franchise? Because he's already got two. He's already has the Fast and the Furious franchise. He has the Jumanji franchise. And if you start looking at doing uh, any Marvel thing, mm -hmm. that's like a that's like a good ten year commitment. Because yeah, the way they build stuff out. He's already signed up to be Black Adam. That's ink. We know that's a fact. He is okay. Black Adam in DC. So if if he really is about to be Hercules in Marvel, it's it's probably he's probably not gonna have his own movie. He's probably just gonna be popping yeah. into people's movie for like, you know, maybe 30, 40 minute sets. I don't think they're gonna okay. do a full-fledged Hercules movie, but it is confirmed he is definitely Black Adam. But they're okay. saying that they've got him inked to be Hercules. Okay. Well, hey. Oh. Hey. All right. I'm we'll not see. mad at it. Hey, me neither.